WRTV celebrates Black History Month, and it's tough to ignore the strong gaze and the pink cardigan as you pass this 30-foot mural on Mass Ave, not far from the Murat. Many people aren't able to name the woman depicted here, and many don't know the contribution she made not only to Indianapolis, the place that she called home, but also to the era known as the Black Arts Movement. She loved being creative. She loved people being creative. She was an artist, and she believed in art being the power to make changes. I love Miss Evans. For artist Michael Alchemy Jordan. I'm 70. 70, 70 years old, yes. It was a labor of love that was larger than life. Painting, I've been uh, doing that for like 50 years. And nearly six years after Alchemy signed his name to this masterpiece that overlooks Mass Ave, he still feels the pride and the honor to pay tribute to the late Mari Evans. You have to read her poetry. She had a lot of wisdom, and she influenced a lot of people. I know a lot of poets that love her. Mari Evans even influenced Alchemy when he was barely 20, decades before he would be commissioned to paint her towering portrait. I started painting in prison. I had a book of hers when I was locked up. Her words, his paint, changed his outlook on life while behind bars. But Alchemy admits most people who walk by don't realize they are passing the image of a woman who was a prominent voice in the black arts movement of the 1960s and 70s that boasted and celebrated black pride. Oh, I think it's something good to look at. I don't know how it does on educating them. Uh, uh, maybe if they go somewhere and read and try to study and learn about it, maybe so. You can learn so much more about the woman in the life-size mural by coming here, the very place where she spent so much time as a volunteer, the Indianapolis Public Library. Here, you'll find Mari Evans' photo on the banner leading into the Center for Black Literature and Culture. You'll find her published poems, books, and essays on the shelves. Poets that were part of the black arts movement to, spoke to what we were going through as a community and really um, kind of distilled our feelings in a literary format. Nichelle M. Hayes is the founding director of the Center for Black Literature and Culture. She points out Mari Evans was more than a revered author, but was also a songwriter, a pianist, a playwright, and a civil rights activist demanding changes in the education system and in prisons. She's a woman of the people. She was not set apart. Uh, she was among us. She was with us. She was one of us. Evans was born in Ohio in 1923, moved to Indianapolis in 1947, and remained a Hoosier until her dying day in 2017. She taught at Purdue University and IUPUI. In 1968, she produced and hosted a show which aired locally for several years called The Black Experience. And in 1970, Mari Evans published what would be one of her signature books and a poem by the same name, I Am a Black Woman. My favorite piece of hers is I Am a Black Woman. And when I read that, I, um, I get strength, I get encouragement. Michelle reads us an excerpt. I am a black woman tall as a cypress, strong, beyond all definition, still defying place and time and circumstance, assailed, impervious, indestructible. Look on me and be renewed, Mari Evans. Months before her death, Mari Evans had the opportunity to watch this 30-foot mural move from notion to fruition. For alchemy, he'll never forget she spent part of her last birthday on Earth with him as he made brush strokes in her honor. She was standing right there and looking up at me. They said, Miss Evans down here. And I looked down and said, oh, I got to come down. And the guy whispered in my ears and said, man, today is her birthday. And I brought me to tears. Mari Evans has some notable distinctions. She received the National Endowment for the Creative Arts Writing Award, an honorary doctorate from Marion University, and the nation of Uganda even paid tribute to her with a postage stamp. Her commitment to education continues today even after her death with the Zora Neale Hurston Mari Evans Scholarship for students at IUPUI.